Hello everyone, it is Monday, September 13th, 2010, and this is your Daily Dose of Reptile News, brought to you by the National Audubon Society Field Guide to North American Reptiles and Amphibians. I use it, I think everybody should use it when they're out snake hunting in the field, at least in North America. A three meter long crocodile in the Northern Territory rammed a fishing boat full of women. Apparently they were competing somewhere in the Northern Territory when the crocodile lunged out of the water and rammed the boat. They say it rammed the boat so hard that it did do damage to the boat. None of the women on the boat were injured, although they were all shaken up. And here's an exciting tale about a massive rattlesnake. And this one, not far from right here where I live, it is said to be eight foot long. It was found on a water treatment plant in El Dorado County. You see here a uh, worker holding it up. And, you know, some of the, the, this is, I love stories like this. These are just the most awesome stories in the world because not only is this a huge rattlesnake, just uh, pretty much unheard of in our country for the the west coast at least um let alone right here in northern california but not only is it a big snake but those workers after they caught it and photographed it and reported it they ended up releasing it right there back onto the property into the wild which is is just awesome i mean most of the time whether they're doing any harm or not, they end up getting killed, and that just seems like par for the course in today's day and age. But no, this uh, monster rattlesnake is still out there in the wild doing its thing, and you know, who knows, maybe the next time it's seen, it'll be 10 feet long, who knows. And actress Ravina Tandon will be the next person to put on snakeskin for PETA. Um, Okay, um, yeah, you know, I hate promoting PETA by saying their name because I really don't like them, but um, like I've said before, I enjoy their advertisements for obvious reasons. But uh, anyway, here she is. She's going to be putting on snakeskin for PETA, and uh, yeah, okay. And a world-renowned herpetologist and his son traveling in Vietnam have found a new gecko species. I'm, uh, you know, I'm going to be honest, I'm, I'm not going to even attempt to pronounce it, but uh, you can read the story on the site, see the picture right there and on the site, and uh, yeah, pretty cool, new species in Vietnam. Which brings us to our question for the day. How many of you believe there are several reptile species out there yet to be discovered, and how many do you think there are? Leave a text comment or video response. And that has been all your news for this Monday, September 13th, 2010. If you'd like to read any more of these stories, those links are right down below here in the description. And as always, if you're still watching, my name is Jason White. Now you know what's going on in the reptile world. Be good to each other.